Okay, so the last thing I want to talk about here in this little section is our normal maps. Uh, we've mentioned that several times here, and I'm going to briefly go through how to export uh, your normal map. And the first thing we're going to need is there's another plugin for normal maps, so we can go back to the GIMP registry. Uh, if you just go to, again, GIMP.org and click on that little link where it says Plugin Registry, and it'll take you to the, the registry page here, main, main registry page, and just go to your search bar and put in Normal. And after that loads, we want to go to this second link down here that says Normal Map. And then there's a home page here. Uh, I believe that this file here is different than what's on this. So I went to the uh, home page for this particular plugins project. And they also have a new 64 bit plugin as well, which is what I'm using. You may be on a 32 bit, so just download the one that's uh, applicable to you and it, it extract the file. And uh, there'll be a README in there that tells you where to extract all of the, uh, the, the DLLs and the uh, EXEs that make up the plugin. So your README tells you to extract the normalmap.exe to your GIMPS plugin directory and it gives you the directory there and extract the three DLL files to your bin, GIMP bin directory which is uh, C program files GIMP2 and bin. So once you get those installed uh, in the proper place you'll be ready to go in terms of what you need in GIMP. Second thing I'm going to mention is if you go to the Fallout 3 Nexus you can just go to the mod section and type in mod 11324 uh, and that will pull up a training manual here on GIMP. This is done in a, a older version of GIMP but a lot of the things, the techniques that uh, MyAx, MiAx, I'm not sure how you pronounce that or maybe it's just Max, I don't know, but uh, a lot of the, uh, the techniques that he talks about in this little tutorial are very much the same even in the newest version of GIMP. So I highly recommend that you download uh, this tutorial. It's a nice PDF file. It's really easy to read and uh, we'll take a look at it. So uh, I've already got it up here. I've already actually got it to the section on creating normal maps. If you uh, notice, he has a lot of pictures, a lot of annotations, and a lot of really, um, uh, really specific procedures that you are to follow when, when creating these normal maps and other different types of uh, imaging techniques that you can use in uh, any of these Bethesda games. Okay, so now what we want to do is go ahead and get our image ready to create a normal map for. And we really only want to create the normal map for the canvas layer. So go ahead and turn all these other layers off. And because right now we have this layer mode set to multiply, um, we need to switch that and just switch that back to normal. What we're going to do is save this uh, as just this image of just the canvas and we're going to pull that back up and that's what we're going to create the normal map with. Um, so be sure you don't have any other layer selected. Make sure you have the canvas layer selected and that's switched back to normal mode. And then we'll just go to file and export. And I always just normally save mine as a BMP. Uh, I'll go ahead all the way uh, to the end here and put my underscore in on the end uh, of the uh, BMP. Uh, you could save it as a JPEG. You could save it as a PNG. Um, doesn't really matter, I don't suppose. But uh, I always just kind of been in the habit of saving, saving them as a, as a bitmap. So and then hit export. And I've already got one in there, so I'll just tell it to replace it. You'll have some export options depending on what format you save it as and just uh, choose what you want there and export the image. And if you notice we are still on our XCF file, our layer file over here. So I want to go ahead and put it back the way it was. So I will go back over here and set this back to multiply and then go ahead and turn both of these layers on. So that gets us back to where that's where um, our final image was. And let's go ahead and save that as well. And now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and open up our 
file that we just created uh, to make the normal out of. So in my case, it was bayloco one underscore n dot bmp. So I'll pull that up, and as you can see, we have our nice little canvas texture there. And now this part I'm going to go through actually fairly quickly. Uh, it seems to be that this plugin to create normals is a little bit buggy. Uh, I still think it'll work fine for what we're trying to accomplish here. Uh, be sure and go through the tutorial that I mentioned uh, that Miax Myax um, has there at Fallout 3. It goes into a lot more detail. But basically what we're going to do is we want to go up here to Colors. We want to desaturate this layer, this image. So click on Desaturate. And then make sure that Lightness is selected. And just hit OK. And then the next thing we want to do is we want to go up here to our filters and go down to Map and select Normal Map. Now, if for some reason you do not see an option for Normal Map, you might want to double check and make sure you had all your files installed properly. Uh, or if you had GIMP open uh, when you installed those files, you may just need to shut GIMP down and uh, relaunch it and pull up your little normal map file here and go from there. So click on normal map and this little dialog will pop up. You've got some filters and some scales and that type of stuff. Uh, what the tutorial says is hit 3D preview uh, and then change the object type to teapot. And this is where, well, it's going to work for me this time. Sometimes that doesn't come up for me. So uh, it worked that way and then it tells you to go down here to ambient color and change that to black and just hit OK and then also to sort of click here in the middle where well, you got to select it says to select this rotate light then click here and sort of drag up and that will apply a shadow effect which doesn't always come up seems like I can grab and click uh, or, or drag my box a little bit and you'll see how that shadow changed so we'll just go with that and hit OK. And the options on this side, uh, you have a scale option, which basically, if you look real closely, it's really hard to see. But the higher this number is, the more depth you have in the scale. Uh, we're not looking for a really, really deep um, uh, effect here. So 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, somewhere around in there. Just find something that you like. Uh, more importantly, this filter, this sort of also determines uh, how grainy uh, whatever you are applying the normal map to is for a three by three and a five by five it says to use that for you know like rocks and that type of stuff we're going to go with a seven by seven which it says is a good setting for cloth so filter seven by seven and then set your scale to four and hit OK so the next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we have an alpha channel so we'll go up here to layers and transparency and as you can see we have add alpha channel is already grayed out so what that means is we already have an alpha channel if it's not grayed out you will have the option that you can click on that to add an alpha channel um, so we've got our alpha, cha alpha channel in place so we're good to go there so now what we want to do is we want to go up here to colors uh, we want to tone this down quite a lot we don't want a purple looking image in there so if we go up here to Colors and then hit Curves, it'll pull up our Curves dialog. The only thing we really need to worry about here, we want to make sure that we change this channel to Alpha. And then once we do that, we just grab our curve up here. And if you look at your preview to the right, you'll see where it just starts to make that more of a transparency. So drag that you know, down around into here somewhere. Should be fine. And hit OK. And believe it or not, that still does make an effect in the game. It doesn't look like much sitting right here, but that does, believe it or not, have an effect in the game. And the last thing we need to do now is we just need to export our DDS file to go in the game. So before, just like we did, we'll go to File and Export. And then all I have to do is come over here and rename that DDS and it's going to come up with the same options we had before we always want to set our compression to bc3 slash dtx5 and then we also always want to generate mip maps so select those and hit ok 
and we are good to go. And uh, we are ready to now start putting these files into the construction kit. So we will start that in the next tutorial.